Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new series here on Potato Head Plays. I've been planning and promising a new Let's Play series on YouTube for a long, long time now over on my TikTok and Instagram and I've never delivered it but it's finally time. So we're here in this beautiful snowy map called Winter Hills. It's one of the maps that's included with the Snowfall DLC so you don't need access to the Steam Workshop to get this and I'm really, really, really excited to get started. I absolutely love the way these snowy maps look and I think we're going to be able to build a really cool city on what's probably going to be quite a challenging map but I can't wait any longer so let's just jump in and get started. So our starting square is right here smack on top of the hill which is definitely something a bit different. We don't have access to much just yet, not these rivers or the trains or anything but we'll definitely get there. So the first thing we do in any new city is place a regular piece of road and you can see as soon as we place that road a whole lot of other roads open themselves up and become available for us to use and we're just going to use the dirt roads because they're cheap, they're efficient and money's always tight at the start of a new city so it's a no-brainer really. And I'm just going to eyeball this first road, just use a freeform road tool to run it out along here. In the future this is going to be kind of a main road, a big collector type road. So it just goes straight down along here around these rocks and look at the view you're going to get over here, absolutely beautiful. And what's this we've got down here? A castle, we've got a cliff top castle so I think a community around here in the future would be amazing but we need to decide where our community is going to go right now and we don't have any info views or natural resource views to help us make that decision just at the moment so we're just going to do it but the first thing we're going to do is connect up this highway and this is the only time we're not going to use dirt roads and we're going to use the one-way roads and this road's the wrong way so we'll flip that around but now it's time to start building our new city and I think up here by the lake is where I'd want to live so that's where we're going to start and just using again the freeform road tool I'm just going to lay down some roads interesting shapes not going to worry too much just follow the edge of the trees there squeeze in between some of the trees i'm not going to do a grid if you want to see a grid head over to my tiktok or my instagram there's plenty of grids on those pages and now we just need to work out how we're going to connect this bottom road up to the top so i'm thinking i'm just going to run a road here and we'll just meander our way up and, and see how it goes really Yeah, I think that's pretty good. We'll sort out some of these lumpies and bumpies a bit later. Um, but for now, I think that's pretty good. And we're gonna need to add the basic services, you know, water, sewage, electricity. So I'm gonna go with a water tower and we'll just drop it here by the lake for now. Um, and then the water pipes. If any of you watch City Planner Plays, you'll know that water pipes belong under the road. So that's where I'm going to keep them. And hopefully that will keep City Planner Plays happy. I find it best to turn off all your guidelines when you're doing this. And now we have water, we need sewage. And unfortunately, it looks like the only place we've got to put sewage is into the lake. So I'm going to actually use the eco outlet because this is going to get real polluted and real gross real quick. I don't really want that. So. Once that's down, you just need to collect it up with your water pipes, the same as everything else. Okay, and the next thing's electricity. Now we're gonna be using coal power because environmentally friendly options are just too expensive at this stage. So we're gonna do that down here. This will be a future industrial area as well, just a temporary one. But down here is where we can put all the noisy, polluty things out of the way, well away from the main city and close to the um, highway we have here so that any deliveries any trucks can get there nice and easily so yeah I'm just gonna like I say it's probably gonna be temporary so it's pretty much just gonna be a grid at this point and then we're gonna whack this coal power plant right down here next to the collector next to the main road so that the deliveries can get there easily and then I'm not just gonna run my water pipe like this I'm gonna run it along the roads because that's where they belong so we're making power now and we can see the blue line but we need to connect our power lines up to the rest of the city so instead of running up here i want to actually be mindful of where i'm going to develop so i'm going to delete this and we're going to connect the power lines up around the back here connect it to the water tower into the blue zone there and then from the blue zone across here to our sewage outlet and now that should be ready to go so a bit, oh, bit of an autosave jump there, where were we? 
Okay, so now it's time to zone and actually I'm going to zone over here on the right hand side first because that's going to be a bit easier to connect to those power lines we just placed. So it just makes it a bit simpler going forwards. And once that's ready, I think it's finally time to press play and we should straight away, there you go, start to see some of those houses fill out. Oh man, what a lovely place this would be to live until the pollution starts to fill up the lake and it's a bit gross, but that's okay. And what do we have here? A bear, a bear eating. Oh, well, you know, this does happen, you know, I've lived in Canada and bears can be in your back garden. He looks a bit like a grizzly, so I'm not sure why he's not hibernating. But back to work and we see, can see there's commercial demand now. So we've got citizens and they want somewhere to shop, so we'll give it to them. But you can also see there's some industrial demand. If they're going to shop, they're going to need money. So we'll go zone some industry down here. They can get jobs, they can work and they can make money that way. And as our first snowstorm sets in, look at that tiny little village we've built up there. What a wonderful place this would be to live. And oh man, I do love how this game looks, especially these snowy maps. I think they're absolutely beautiful. Coming into golden hour with the red sky, the lights coming on. Oh, it's just so beautiful. Oh, and here they come. The first convoy of new residents, lots of them. That's what we like to see. And we should reach our first milestone in no time. And on that note, straight back to development because that's all we need to do is watch these RCI demands and meet them because we just need to bash our way through developments. So whilst I develop this area, actually, I'm just gonna talk you through my plans for this series. So I'm gonna do a vanilla build, no mods, no custom assets. I put a poll out on Instagram a little while ago and that's what you all wanted. Um, these voiceovers, I'm actually recording after playing. Um, so rather than trying to do everything in real time, I'm just gonna talk you through my decisions, my thought processes, you know, everything I did during that episode. But this way we can just, you know, chat a little bit of city skylines whilst I work too. Actually, at this point, I don't have too many plans for this city. So please do leave comments below with suggestions of what you want to see. I'm also going to need, need lots of names, district names, street names, and of course a city name. I've not even got a city name for this city. So, you know, make sure you leave comments below, leave them over on my TikTok. I'm gonna be doing a few polls for this city as well. So if you wanna get in on those votes, they're probably gonna be over on Instagram. So make sure you're following me over there if you want to get involved. I've got a new Discord server where we're going to be discussing it. So make sure you do that. And I'm gonna try and do a new video pretty much every week, I think. Um, so that'd be the main series. And then I'm also going to do some specials along the way. Maybe things like a special Biffa style, Biffa style traffic fix, sorry, where I use a couple of mods like Traffic Manager to see how much I can improve the city. And then, you know, so anything else like that, let me know what you want to see and I'll do my best to do it. And there you go, we've reached Little Hamlet. So that's great, that's where I wanted to be. You can see we've unlocked a few services here now. So we're gonna have to start giving those to our citizens, but we're not gonna do anything until they ask for it. I think one of the mistakes a lot of people make is think, oh, I've got schools, let's place a school. No, you haven't got money for that at the moment. So we're gonna wait until people ask for it before we do anything. I'm just gonna keep developing with these RCI meters. So here we go, we've got our first problem and that's trash piling up. So we've got to put something down, we've got access to the landfill site and the recycling center and as much as I'd like to go green at this stage, just can't afford it. So we're gonna do the landfill. Be careful where you place it because it's hard to move these things, they have to be empty. But although the coverage won't look too good here, it'll be absolutely fine. And in fact, let's jump in with our first garbage truck now on his way into town and we can enjoy the ride. And there we go, he's completed his first pickup and he'll carry on around the city. So I just hope everybody's remembered to put their bins out today. But we've got lots of demand still and I wanna hit that next milestone. So early in the game like this, like I've said, it's just about develop, 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 and that's what I'm gonna do. But first, I think I'm just gonna tweak some things in the budget because as you can see, we're way overproducing on our electricity. We are on the water too. And at this stage of the game, we need every penny we can get. So you've got to keep an eye on it because as we develop, this is gonna keep growing and growing, but it's a great way of saving money early in the game. 
Oh no, it looks like I might have gone slightly too far. Oh, stupid. Now I've loaded the wrong ones. So I've lowered the roads. We don't want that. We want the electricity and the water. So that will fix that. And yeah, we'll have to keep an eye on it. We will have to keep tweaking it. Every new house we add, every new shop we add, we'll need more power and water. So keep an eye on it, keep tweaking it, but it really does help you save money at this stage of the game. And you can see I'm building a lot of cul-de-sacs, which means we don't have the connectivity that I'd normally like to have. Once I've unlocked landscaping, I'll definitely add some footpaths, some bike paths to make it nice and walkable or cyclable, and that'll help traffic. But we'll go way more into detail in that in a future episode. Right now, I just want to hit that next milestone. And it's really starting to take shape now. This little community we've built up here, as we head into golden hour again, let's just stop and take a look at this wonderful, sleepy little hillside town we've built. Man, I'd want to live there. I'd want to make sure I have enough electricity if I did, so we're just gonna up that budget a little bit. I think you can see as it's nighttime, the temperature's dropped. It's minus 23 degrees centigrade. That's blooming cold. But look, I've called it a sleepy town. It's actually thriving, there's lots going on. So we're just gonna keep developing. The, you can't see much at night. The only thing you can just about see is the zoning and especially this bright orange industry zoning and we need some of that. So we are gonna add some more industry. But now is actually just a good chance to stop, have a look and think, what's our next bit of develop development gonna be? And I'm thinking around this area over behind this rock here weave our way around and make a bit of feature out of that landmark. I think that'd be really nice. And look at this little convoy we've got moving in. That's what we like to see. Lots of cars. I like to see lots of cars at the moment. Further in the series, I won't because it's cars equals traffic problems. But for now, we're all good. I'm happy with that. So that's a problem for future Potato Head to deal with. But right now, we're going to keep developing and we're going to head around the back of this rock like we just said. Though actually, I'm just gonna add a medical center in because that's another thing that people are starting to ask for. We need it nice and centrally located because in a small town like this, you'd see this right on the high street and we need good coverage, lots of happy faces. I'm happy with that, so let's get back to building. So we've almost got like a little central block here, which I like. I'm gonna zone on the inside of that, but I'm not gonna zone too closely to the landmark because I don't wanna disturb it too much. So wherever I've left enough space, I'll do that. But I want this road to kind of go around and the landmark's a real feature, so we don't wanna hide it. So I'm just gonna use my bend road tool to make a nice connection there. We've got that loop and then let's add some zoning in some nice spots. Oh, and with these new buildings I'm adding in, we seem to just be getting a little bit low on electricity again. So I'm just gonna whack that budget up for now. We don't wanna waste money building and maintaining a whole new power plant and just throwing money away. So we'll just whack the budget right up and not worry about that. But back to our water pipes. Oh, and there we go, Worthy Village. This is where I wanted to be at the end of this episode. Look at that, we've got so many things unlocked now. Police stations, fire stations, districts, policies, specializations. We can even get a new square if we want to. That's great. For now, I'm just gonna finish up this loop and we'll carry on right from here next week. But right now, I'm gonna leave you with a brief city tour of what we've achieved today. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you next time.